Let's learn how to write structures for bicyclic compounds. So if here we have a name, bicyclo 111 pentan 13 diol and the first thing that I will look at is these brackets, and the numbers inside the brackets represent the number of carbons that my bridges have. So one, I'm going to draw one bridge with one carbon inside, then another one, so I'm going to draw another bridge and connect them with one carbon inside, and then another one, so I'm going to draw another bridge with one carbon inside. Next, it says 1, 3, diol. So I will number my structure starting with one of the bridgehead carbons. Bridgehead carbons are carbons that connect all the bridges. Let me change my color. These are the carbons. And notice they were not counted in this um, in these numbers in, inside the bracket. I will start with the bridgehead um, carbon and I will go around the longest bridge, then the second longest bridge, and so on. Here, all the bridges are the same, so I will just go in any order I want. One, two, three, then four, and this is going to be five. And it says that I have something attached to carbon one and something attached to carbon three. Di means two, and O means an alcohol group. So I have an OH attached to carbon number one, and I also have an OH attached to carbon number three. Also notice that my molecule has five carbons, that's why it's called pentan. And let's go ahead and look at this scary looking name that's actually not so scary. 2,2-dibromo, 3,3-dichloro, 5,5-difluoro, 6,6-diiodo, bicyclo, 2,2-1-heptane. Again, I begin by looking at my brackets, and that means I have three bridges with two carbons, two carbons, and one carbon. So let's start drawing. So I have a two-carbon bridge. This is two carbons. And then I'm going to have another two-carbon bridge. This is two carbons. And then I have a one carbon bridge. This is one carbon. Notice I did not count the bridgehead carbons. Next, because I have substituents, what I'm going to do is I will number my carbons, starting from the bridgehead carbon, either one, going to the longest bridge. I could go to the left or to the right, two, three, four, then the second longest, five, six, and seven. And next what I am going to do is I'm going to attach my substituents. So it says 2,2-dibromo, two, two which means there are two bromine groups on carbon number two. So one bromine group, one bromine, and another bromine. 3,3-dichlorine three, three means there are two chlorines on the third carbon. So one chlorine and another chlorine. Now I have five, five difluoros. So on my carbon five, I have two fluorine groups. One fluorine and another. And on carbon six, I have two iodines carbon six, so let's draw my iodine, one iodine, sorry, they're kind of um, over, set over <laughs> each other, and then another iodine, and this is my molecule. Notice that it says heptane because I have seven carbons in my bicyclic system. This is my allergy. Let me have. let me know if you have any questions or comments, and let me know if you like organic chemistry.